You are always welcome at East Africa's best language school, Swahili Dar Language School in Tanzania. These are the verbs that we are going to learn today and uh, starting from uh, itwa. I know you are familiar with this itwa because in the past lesson we saw it. We saw Nina itwa say Michael. Do you remember? Nina itwa say Michael. Uh, I am called Sai Michael, like I am Sai Michael. That's my name, Sai Michael. Uh, Nina Toka Tanzania means uh, I come from Tanzania. Nina Ka Dar Islam, it means I stay in Dar Islam. So uh, you, we know already these verbs. We know itwa, we know toka, we know ka. Itwa, toka, ka. So itwa is to be called. Toka is to come from. Ka is to stay. So you may wonder why I put this dash in the beginning of uh, many verbs here. So there is infinitive. I put that dash because there is infinitive uh, ku. Ku is tu. So itwa is be called. Ku itwa to be called. Toka come from. So, ku toka to come from. Ka is stay. If I put ku here, and if I put ku here, I read ku ka, which means to stay. So, there is ku, 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 ku in front of these verbs, and that means to, to, to infinitive. It is infinitive. So, um, Andika is right. Ku Andika will be to write. Soma, read. Kusoma, to read. Pika, cook. Kupika is to cook. Fanya, do. Kufanya is to do. Penda is like or love. Like or love is penda. Kupenda is to like or to love. Weza, be able to. Kuweza, to be able to. Taka, want. Kutaka, to want. Cheza. Play. Kucheza to play. Ondoka. Leave. Kuondoka to leave. Fika. Arrive. Kufika to arrive. Yes, maybe I'm going fast, but uh, make sure you put these new verbs into the flashcards. That will help you to memorize and Amka, wake up. Ku amka is to wake up. Lala, sleep. Kulala is to sleep. Pumzika, rest, take a break, relax. Kupumzika is to rest, to take a break, to relax. Ogelea, swim. Kuogelea is to swim. Jifunza. Learn. Kujifunza is to learn. Fundisha. Teach. Kufundisha is to teach. Sikiliza. Listen. Kusikiliza is to listen. Nunua. Buy. Kununua is to buy. Pige simu. Call. Kupige simu is to call. To make a phone. Saidia. Help. Kusaidia is to help. Angalia. Still look. Kuangalia is to look 
or to watch. Enda. Go. Ku. Ku enda is to go. Here is very important. You know, U and E in Swahili, U and E makes the W sound. When U is in front of another syllable, brings the W sound. So uh, the we. So here we say we. So the U E will make it W E. So ku enda we normally say quenda. So Kuenda and kuenda is the same thing. Fikiri, think. Kufikiri is to think. Subiri, wait. Kusubiri is to wait. Hitaji, need. Kuhitaji is to need. Furahi, be happy. Kufurahi is to be happy. Hesabu. Count. Kuhesabu is to count. Rudi. Come back. Return. Kurudi. To come back. To return. Jaribu. Try. Kujaribu. To try. Sahau. Forget. Kusahau to forget. Haribu to destroy. Kuharibu to destroy. Amini. Believe. Trust. Kuamini to trust to believe. Badili. Change. Kubadili to change. Heshimu, respect. Kuheshimu, to respect. Jibu, answer. Kujibu, to answer. Samehe, forgive. Kusamehe is to give. And also, uh, you might see some, a little change here. Can, can, can you see the endings of these verbs? The endings. They end with ah, 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 ah. Yes, there is the reason. Um, we have more verbs that end with ah in Swahili language. And why? Because we took many verbs, many words from Bantu verbs. So these are Bantu. They, these, these are verbs that end with ah, originate from uh different tribe in different different tribes in africa so and we call them bantu verbs but uh, those do not end with r at the end with the vowel r at the end these are we call them arabic vowel or non-bantu they are originated from arabic language we took them we took these verbs the uh, and the more words also from arabic language and uh, if you see here, this also end with a, uh, so you know, now you know, these are Bantu verbs. But uh, why these seven verbs here, like uh, I put something here, bro? There is a reason, yes, there is the reason why there is no dash there is no dash 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 like all of these verbs why because these verbs like kula is to eat this verb should be la la should be the verb and uh, should mean eat kula it should mean to eat so they thought we cannot have a verb with one just one syllable so they decided to attach with this ku here to form one verb so uh, this ku should be the infinitive but they attach it to make uh, more than one syllable verbs so uh, kula is to it as the verb in swahili uh, kupa 
to give kuwa to be kuja to come kufa is to die kunywa is to drink kunywa very important here it is very 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 important to pronounce the w w is very important to pronounce kunywa instead don't pronounce kunya if you don't pronounce uh, the w here you will say kunya kunya is this one kunya is hmm to the bathroom you go there and you do what to poop kunya is to poop so uh, when you say i drink soda you say nina kunywa soda but if you don't not pronounce it properly you'll say nina kunya soda practice it practice it by yourself to say kunywa kunywa instead of kunya so uh, we have three groups of verbs in swahili we have um uh, monosyllabic verbs we have arabic verbs and we have bantu we have bantu verbs right uh uliza is ask uliza is to ask omba is ask ku omba is to ask you remember uliza is to ask the question like to question omba is to ask you for something do not uh, uh, mix them omba is like uh, um, may i have that may i have that so you say uh, may i have some water you say nina omba much it's a very important verb in swahili it's like uh, to say polite when you want to be polite may i have you say nina omba maji may i have some water nina omba maji maji means water maji m-a-j-i maji nina omba maji may i have some water onyesha onyesha is sure ku onyesha is to show sema sema is say kusema is to say ona is to see kuona is to see sikia is hear kusikia is to hear so up to now you just learn 50 verbs 50 Swahili verbs that means you can say 50 Swahili sentences you are now able to say I uh, I'm called you tell me your name so I'll say my name is Sai Nina ito Sai I come from Tanzania Nina Toka Tanzania eh? I stay in the Islam Nina Ka Dar Islam maybe if you want to say i am writing you can say that yes you can do uh, nina andika i am writing i read you can say that i read nina soma so every time you say i you say nina you start with nina nina and then you say your verb you say nina first and then you say your verb nina you say the verb Nina, you said the verb that means you are doing that action. So, like here, uh, Nina Pika, I cook, I cook, Nina Pika, um, Nina Penda, I like, Nina Penda. So, you say you can say Nina Penda soda, uh, Nina Penda keki, it is Swahili, soda is soda in Swahili as well. Keki is cake. Nina penda keki. Eh? You can say uh, Nina cheza. I play Nina cheza. So you can say uh, 50 sentences still now. So um, thank you very much. I hope you uh, enjoy this lesson. Asante. Kwaheri. Sai is selling DVDs for the full completed beginners course. DVD includes the lesson that you can find on YouTube. He'll speak about Tanzanian culture and also give some tips on the easy way to learn a second language. The DVD goes more in depth on questions and answers. 
and Sai Michael will reveal the questions that his students normally ask and all the answers. Swahili Dar Language School is selling its own book, which explains about various topics and has exercises and answers. The book has useful exercises and supportive materials that Swahili Dar Language School uses in its lessons and Skype classes. Sai Michael's storybook includes a place to add your vocabulary and learn about the Swahili structure. The school where Sai Michael teaches, Swahili Dar Language School, also offers accommodation such as a hostel or homestay facility. See if you're interested. SDL products are well organized and come with an affordable price. Book your service or products through email swahilidar at sdl.ac.tz or WhatsApp or SMS at plus 255 750 73780. You can also visit Swahili Dar Language School's website www.sdl.ac.tz and like our Facebook page Swahili Dar Language School. Don't even bother thinking of any other school, think just of Swahili Dar Language School if you don't want to waste your money and time. It's the best language school you can go to in Tanzania and East Africa.